Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I'll be sharing free video tutorials and interesting wire wrapping techniques. So hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below if there's any techniques you would like me to cover. So check out my Etsy shop if you want to see my written tutorials. And thanks everybody, I shall see you there. Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewellery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pendant. I've put a list of everything you'll need in the description below. Along with all my usual links, we've got Facebook, Instagram and Etsy, where I sell all my written tutorials if anyone's interested in having a nosy at those. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire which is 20 gauge and I've cut three lengths at 11 inches which is 28 centimetres. You'll need 0.315mm weaving wire and you can go up or down a step on these gauge recommendations. It's 28 gauge and you'll need about 100 centimetres of that. I've ran mine on to a bobbin. This is a Bobby's bobbin by Beadsmith. You just wind your wire on there and then that sits down by your side it just saves all the uh, the length of the weaving wire flailing about while you're working you'll need a little stone so we're using a teardrop today i do recommend you i can't pick it up i do recommend you use a teardrop for this design because of how it's held by the wire so mine is 18 millimeters by 13 so anything that kind of size it's quite small and it's quite thin. If your stone is much thicker than mine, then you could use four base wires instead, just so it holds the stone better. So tools, I've got my pliers, round nose pliers, cutters. I've got my bale pliers and my nylon pliers. If you don't have bale pliers, you can just bend the bale over with your fingers. And if you don't have nylon pliers, that's fine, don't worry. I just like having these handy for like straightening wires and flattening weaves. So they're just nice to have to hand, but don't worry if you don't have them. Please mention me um, when you're showing your finished work online. And please don't show images of um, the back or in progress as it gives the design away and I want people to come here and watch these videos So thanks for everybody who already does. Thank you So take one of your your base wires Because you mean you've cut all your wires to the length that I have We're going to grip the wire sort of centrally And we're going to bend the wire And I might have to move off screen a little bit to do this. So we're just going to squeeze the wire so it's completely flat. I do try and rush everything in a video and it's so hard to do everything quick when I'm not doing a video, when I'm just making things, I tend to do it a lot slower. So gripping it side on like this, we'll take one wire one way and one wire the other way. So when you're looking at it, it's not very in focus, is it? So when you're looking at it, you're kind of looking at the end, the side of the wire. Pulling those wires open a little. And then we'll take our second wire. Find a rough centre of that wire too and grip that with your pliers. And we're just going to bend a V into this one. And then that V is going to go next to or behind the, uh, the shape we just did and we're gonna just do a little weave on those there I think I'm gonna just bring those sides up a little bit and then that's gonna go behind at the top there so take your weaving wire 
and we'll wrap a few times around this side. If we do the sides separately, would that be best? So take your weaving wire and we're going to measure from the end of your weaving wire 8 inches and then that's where we're going to start on that point of the weaving wire. So take the first base wire and we're going to wrap three times around that wire. So to your left you've got the eight inches. So then pick up your other wire Position that behind this wire. We're going to go around the two. That's going to be a bit tricky to hold to start with. Go around the two wires a few times. And then back around this wire, the bottom one. Go three times and we're doing three and three. Do that again. Three and three, so we've got that twice on that side. And then we're going to do it on the other side as well. So we're just going to lean on that wire a little bit to push it down. We'll turn it around. And then taking your other length of wire. going to go around the top wire, try and match it up to the other side. So we'll go three times around that wire so it matches. And then three times around the two wires, and three times around the single wire. So we're doing the same weave on this side and we'll do that twice as well. So that's what I've got so far. So we've got the same weave on each side. So next take your stone and your third piece of base wire and find the rough centre point of that wire. We're just going to kind of just bend a, a, a subtle shape into that so that's the the center and that's gonna sit at the bottom of the stone there so that completely goes around the stone So what's going to happen is this weave is going to join onto that wire here. So if we start on this side, we just take that wire, because we can slide it around in a bit. That's going to go here. And I'm going to go around the two wires, bring it up between the two wires. And then I'm going to go through there. Now where my wires cross here at the top, that's going to be quite frustrating if we keep getting the wire through. So I'm just going to pinch that and bend them out a little bit and we'll properly adjust that later. So putting that back into position. Now this wire is going to go around the top two. Then I'm going to go around the bottom two, come up between those two and then go over the top again. So what I'm doing is I'm attaching this shape to my crazy V at the bottom. And I'll just do that a couple more times. So keep pushing it all together. 
There she go to keep it all nice and tidy. And I think I'm just going to wrap around that bottom wire just to hold those wraps in place for now. So I've gone three wraps around the bottom wire. And we need to do that to the other side. So turn it around. Be a bit awkward. There we go. And we're just going to strap to that side the same. So we go around the two. Come up between the two. And then around the top two and do the same amount of repeats as what you did for that side and then finish with three wraps around this top wire. So now we've got the same thing on both sides. Give the weaving wire a little pull and we can cut that. And then as always flatten down your cut ends. So now we need to bend those other wires around the stone. So we need them to be like this. Yeah, so we just grab it and twist it to the back. So those wires go on. So those wires go like that. And then that will go around the stone. Go on, twist. And then you've got to hold that and push those wires around the stone. Easier said than done. Let them cross over. It's hard to do it with those front wires there because they're kind of in the way. And then we need to pinch all the wires together at the top. So not feeling very strong today, I'm going to use my pliers. And then I'm just going to go over that shape with my pliers. So it's looking good so far. So once you're happy with the wire shaping around the stone, I've just adjusted the top a little bit so it's more snug. Then we'll attach the top together. So make sure your wires aren't crossing over each other on the sides. And then we'll look at this back wire here. And we'll wrap a few times around that back wire to join. Doing a bit better today because I remembered to put my glasses on. So slide that down to here at the bottom of the join. And we're going to wrap around and tie all those wires together. So pinch them together. Again, try not to let them cross over each other. We'll go all the way around. This has ended up nothing like the picture that I've drawn already. So I am wondering how it's going to end up. It's going to be totally different to what I planned. So then I've finished it with three wraps again around that back wire just to hold those wraps in place. I'll cut this wire from the beginning of that bit. Press that down with my cutters, my pliers. And we need to pop the stone in there. And make sure it fits nice and snug. And turn it over to the back and we'll secure the back in first. So we're going to take this back wire. And we're just going to pull it back a little bit over the stone on both sides. So I'm making a gap first so I can get my pliers in there. And then grip the bottom of the wire where it joins the weave there. And one big twist and we twist the wire straight over 
the back of the stone. It's my stone is still moving about quite a bit at the minute. So I've got to just try and hold that in place and then we're going to grip the wire on this side and do the same. And we're going to grip that straight over. I can hear my stone chipping over the back of the stone. Caught my stone a little bit there with my pliers. So that's held in at the back. It's not escaping anymore. We need to separate out these wires a little bit on the sides. So the front wire, I'm pulling the front wire over the stone a little bit. But I like the shape of it, so I don't want to twist it over the stone like we did for the back. So I've pulled it over a little bit and I'm just going to squeeze it around the stone so that it holds it. Because of the, the wire here at the front is quite close to the front, that's already holding it quite nicely from the front there. It's already in a forward like position. So I've pulled it forward just a little bit. If you're unsure, if your stone is still popping out the front there, then at the top here, pull the wire over the stone a bit more and then press it all down around the stone. So at least then this come in together at the top here. So we've still got that nice shape. Does that make sense? So next I'm going to take these two wires here at the, the front, I say front, the two more forward wires on this side. And then I shall do those two front ones in a minute. And we're going to keep these two middle ones at the back for now. So because of these three wraps, my weave is going to start up here. And I don't want it to start up here, I want it to start down here. So I'm going to undo those three wraps. Make sure you're happy with the position of your stone before you start undoing anything. So I've undone those and I'm going to bring the wire to the front. Hold on a minute. Which one's my front wire? This one. So I'm going to bring it to the front and I'm going to wrap around that wire instead. So I've gone around the front wire twice and then I'll go around both wires twice. Front wire twice. Both wires twice. And we'll repeat that weave just on those two wires a little bit further. So I've done 10 repeats of that weave and keep pushing it together to keep it nice and tidy. I'm going to cut this wire. I'm going to just leave a little bit still on there in case I want to add or take repeats and then we're going to do the same for the other side so working just oh god so working just on these two wires here we'll have our main wraps against this one so this one so we'll have two wraps around the top wire two wraps around both wires and we'll have 10 repeats just over those two on that side and to make it easier Wrapping this side's awkward because it's upside down, you can turn to the back and then it's easier to hold and you can just weave along these two wires. So we've got 10 repeats on each side. We need to cut that tail end from the beginning of that weaving wire.
So now we're here, we've got a weave on each side and we've got bits of wire coming off. We're going to take these middle wires, I'm going to part them a little bit at the back there first. And then we're going to bring this wire around and through the gap to the front. And we're going to do the same for the other one. I'm going to bring it around through the gap to the front. And I'm going to pull on those wires until they're even with each other. So that's the shape I'm after. If you look at the back, what I've done is I've pulled the wires apart a bit. So use your pliers and put an angle at the bottom of the wire. So it's the same angle as the weave. So the wires go out in a V at the back. And then they come down the front like that. I like that. Meanwhile, these two weaves, got a bit of a crazy idea for these, are going to scoop in together above. Bear with me, it's not going to be as strange as it looks, but you never know. Keep sliding the weaves down to keep it nice and tidy. But we're going to bring those weaves together at the top there. So next we're going to bring these weaves together, we're going to take them straight up. So I've just wriggled and adjusted my wires so that my weaves meet and I've put the front wires over the back. So I'm going to cut off the longer wire. And with the shorter wire, I'm going to tie around the whole thing. Again, pulling those wires, the front wires over the back wires, and my right wires are over. So I've tied it together like we did there at the bottom of the stone, only there's no stone. And then we're going to take a back wire and just finish those wraps around there so it holds it in place. Cut that wire and press down the cut end. So looking at the top wires now, take your two front wires and part those we'll part these wires as well actually but what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did here and we're going to bring the middle wires over so bending it out at the base we're going to curl him over and bring him around like that. I'm going to do that with the other back wire too. I put captions on in my last video. I found this little setting in my app, my editor, on, on my videos that I can... Hold on. Can't talk and weave at the same time. So I found this little thing on the video when I'm editing it that I can put captions on the screen so it sort of comes up with everything I'm saying because I know I do mumble sometimes could you let me know if that actually helps because I've noticed if you put on the subtitles it doesn't really understand what I'm saying and so if I put the captions on at least I can have a quick run through it and correct it when it thinks I'm saying crazy things so I just wondered if that was useful or not 
Oh dear, so I want this to look like the bottom one. I need my wires to wriggle down and come apart more. So those curls are a little tighter at the top there. So wiggle those wires until they're the shape that you want. I gripped them and I twisted them in a little bit because they got too much of a curl on. Hold on. So I twisted it out so that they hadn't got that much of a curl on. They kind of just leap over to the front rather than having that big crazy curl I put on it just. So I'd like to put a little bead where the wires part there and there. And then we'll finish off these top wires. So I'm going to add a little bead here. I've got a 3mm copper bead. I should have to find that in a minute. So take a little bit of weaving wire. I'll cut just a little, little piece off. It's about 6 inches long. And wrap around the one side to attach. I am amazed how different this one has ended up being. But when it's starting to look nicer than what I planned, you really have to just go with what the wire wants to do, really. Hold on, I haven't put my bead on. As soon as I start, as soon as I start talking, I stop thinking. Okay, so I'll pop my bead on. Not very multi skilled today, am I? And we'll pop that round the back. Yeah, thinking I'm working at the same time. <laughs> so make sure these wires are positioned how you want them to be before you attach your bead. And then we'll just attach to, oh, come on, this one. Trying not to bend those wires too much. So we need to cut that weaving wire off at both ends and press down the cut ends. So we've done this one, so make sure you're happy with these wires and I'm going to pop another bead there in the same way. So when you're attaching your wire for the other side to attach the bead, I did it wrong here, I've got wires at the top and wires at the bottom. If you come underneath so that both the wires are at the back, and we need to attach it with the wire this side of the bead, so don't just go around there, we need to go around this side, and then it will be nice and even. Do you know what I mean? So then the wraps are all above and the stones at the bottom, the bead. So it just, it sits a bit nicer. So when you attach your bead, we need to cut off those wires and flatten down the ends. So at the top here, these two wires that have come down Holding them in place there, I'm going to take them around this little weave thing here. Oh, the ends aren't as strong as I thought they would be. My wire's a bit tougher than I guessed it would be. And then I'm going to do the same for the other one as well. I'd mat them up. You can really can do anything you want with these wires. So I'm just finishing off crazy wires now into crazy shapes. So I'm going to bring this one around. So bring it down and take it around to the back. And then we'll do that with the other one as well. So take it to the back.
That's quite pretty. So these two wires here now, I'm going to finish them around the bale. So holding them here so they don't miss shape, I'm going to cut them shorter. And I'm going to just pop there's my rain there's gone. I'm going to pop them around the bale. And that's going to be really awkward to do and show you at the same time. There we go. So pop it around and try and keep that shape on the sides. And we do it with the other one too and pull it all the way through. Oh, you cannot cut it. I'll just post it around there. It's a bit easier actually because if you cut it, you've got less wire to work with. So now just have a good look over it and make sure you're happy with the wire shapes and you will know how fussy I am. We're going to hold the front wires where we want them to be. It's hard to hold them because of that bead. And I'm going to take those wires over the sides. I'm going to do it a bit at a time because I'm adjusting it so much. And I want to make sure that the sides match up. And then take those wires across to the back. This was supposed to be so simple. So they're where they cross at the back. We're just going to finish them off onto these back wires to make a little gap at the back so we can wrap around those two wires. Cut it off. And then we're going to take those wires around the back wires. I'm pinching them here to try and hold them in place, but they are likely to move. So if we do it in small bits, we do it in little movements, we can keep stopping and checking the front. So when you're happy with the shapes and your wires are around the back, squeeze them into shape rather than pull them and then you won't pull it out of shape and then we're just going to cut off the ends and bend them around those back wires so i finished off those two wires there so now we just got these two top wires so you could do with like some bow pliers or something like Something long, I suppose you could use like a slim pencil, you could use a crochet hook or a knitting needle if you want to. Just to bend those top wires over, we're going to make a little bail at the top there. Giving it a squeeze. And then at the back where the wires meet, I'm going to just straighten them out. I put my finger in the gap here so it didn't squeeze the top together. I'm just going to wrap a bit of weaving wire around and my last bit of weaving wire. So you do need 200 centimeters for this one. So I'll have to change it at the beginning. The original design you wouldn't have needed much at all so i've gone just above the join there i'm just going to go around the two and then i'm going to just attach it to the bale so i'm going to go through there and then around the whole thing like five times just to hold it all Hold the back part down. When you've gone around quite a few times and it's all strapped down, we're then going to go 
around um, just one of those back wires a few times to finish off the wraps. Cut the weaving wire at both ends and cut off the press down cut ends. And then at the back, I'm just going to cut these wires quite short. And I'm going to just curl them into little curls. You're going to have to hold the top wires so they don't move. Something a bit different for you this week, I suppose you could say. I'm going to run and oxidise mine and I'll show you when it's done. I am um, just too fussy. I put this bead on wrong and I'm not happy with it. Much better so far. It doesn't matter if it's fiddly, it must be fixed. Perfect. So there we have it finished. I've oxidised mine. If you'd like to oxidise yours, I did a video on oxidising and aftercare. I'll put a link in the description below. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.